Welcome back. The outlook for the hospitality industry is looking up as consumers begin to travel again. Hoteliers have something to cheer about, with room rates and occupancy levels picking up. But is the outlook altogether rosy? Let's find out in Sector Spotlight. My guest tonight is Johannes Van Strom, Vice President and Managing Director of Hotels.com in Asia Pacific. Thanks for joining me tonight, Johan. Now tell me, hotel pricing seems to confirm that room rates are stabilizing and there are even hints of a recovery. How sustainable is this trend? I think it's very sustainable uh, at this moment. Uh, it's more than stabilizing in certain parts of, of Asia Pacific and even in, in, in the world. We do see, see a different picture between different cities, but if you look at Singapore, for example, Hong Kong, Sydney, um, it's a, a really tremendous pickup by now compared to a year ago. And some industry watchers are saying that leisure guests are now driving the business more so than corporate. Uh, but, they, but this segment tends to demand more value for money. What does this mean for the hospitality industry? Uh, it's true, and I think particularly when, uh, when we had a financial crisis, and obviously a lot of demand uh, didn't really happen in the market, um, a lot of hoteliers as well as airlines started discounting. Um, and now a lot of consumers are sort of expecting to see great discounts all around, although uh, actually the, the, the overall demand picture has gone up. Um, I think it's, it's a bit of a gap in, in terms of timeline, right? So consumers will have to get used to the fact that there are no such deep discounts to the same uh, level as before, uh, but it's a bit of adjusting. I think there's always an element of promotions going on, though, depending on particular times, particular destinations. And if you're a consumer, go out on the web, look around, uh, all the information is there. You can find deals for sure still. What about the corporate traveler? Is corporate demand slowing down? And uh, how are hoteliers coping with this? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily true. It, it certainly, you know, more or less fell out uh, during the financial crisis. I mean, airlines were flying empty up front. A lot of the, the more expensive hotels just didn't get any guests. Um, but uh, again, in certain places, it's really racing back, back in, in a big way. So. Depends on markets uh, where you look in the world, uh, but certainly with the burgeoning economy, not at least in Asia Pacific, corporate travel, trade with other parts of the world, it's bouncing back uh, pretty strongly. Speaking of this growth, the hospitality industry is also, like you say, enjoying uh, this, this ride, but it's also presented its own set of challenges, for example, the lack in human resource. Uh, they cited that lack of uh, senior managers and even specialists in the hospitality area is impacting the business. How are you observing this problem and uh, you know, how do we fix this? With the uh, enormous amounts of new supply, new hotels coming on board, particularly in Asia Pacific, yes, getting, getting uh, you know, capable and, and skilled uh, uh, people to staff the hotels is certainly a problem in some places. I think on the other side, there's a lot of, you know, skilled people out there uh, and I think you can match the two up. There may be a lack of institutions and training facilities today to really cope with, with the, uh, the increased demand. But as usual with demand and supply, I think it will solve itself. All right, Johan, thanks for sharing those insights. And I have been speaking with Johan Svansrom from Hotels.com.